Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one then we're going to be looking at three pre-existing dropshipping stores and just having a look at them and what we can learn from them. So we're going to be looking at the stores themselves, their best selling products. We're going to be looking at how profitable they are and just in general then what we can take from them and implement in our own dropshipping businesses. I've said it time and time again, the best way to be successful at anything, not just dropshipping, it could be riding a bike or learning to swim, is simply find somebody who is already good at it and getting the results that you want to get and then just pretty much replicate what they're doing. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video, but before we jump into it then, I just want to very quickly mention, um, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. So if that's something that you might want to win and you want to talk to me, um, then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then guys, let's jump straight into store number one. So here we are then, here's store number one. Um, just in case you're wondering where I find these stores, it's simply on the exchangemarketplace.com where people can come to sell their e-commerce websites and the majority of them then are actually Shopify stores. So the way I've picked these stores then, it's not 100% random. I pick certain stores just so I can provide certain information to show you guys. And the reason I've picked this one then, so Treasure, fan.com is because it's a general store and for whatever reason general stores seems to be getting a lot of press within the dropshipping community at the moment and I just want to show you this store just to show you that general stores aren't dead at the end of the day if you have a good product you advertise it in a good way and you have it on a good store then the, your customer will buy the product it doesn't matter whether it's a, a niche store or a general store if they like the product they're going to buy it so this is store number one then, treasurevan.com, just to give you a bit of background information, established in 2016. Performance wise then, we can see they've done clearly over $1 million, um, a pretty healthy business. And what I like about these guys as well is that typically what you'll find on the exchange marketplace is a lot of stores will be selling as they're on a decline because they're not doing very well. But as you can see, these guys are doing pretty consistently, it's like the size of a pretty healthy business. So total revenue then just over 2 million, total traffic 2 million visits. So that's a pretty good sign as well. It's a pretty healthy average order value. And then another thing I wanna show you guys as well is the expenses. It's always worth looking at the expenses in a store because it's gonna give you an idea then of how healthy that actual business is and, how, and what they're doing to actually generate those kinds of revenues. And what you can see then the kind of biggest number that clearly sticks out is their Facebook ads cost, um, which is 20 grand a month. So that being said, then let's actually have a look at their store um, and we'll go across, we'll go straight back to the home page so you can see the whole thing from start to finish just to get an idea of what it looks like. Um, and the first things first, really, to my opinion, it doesn't really look that great. I mean, I think the images are a bit too big, um, but just looking at the products, you can see they just scream AliExpress products. Um, you can see here they've got some weird man wearing like a necklace. Um, and this looks like looks reviews to me. Um, so you can see it's nothing really that special, but what they do really well then is their actual product pages. You can see as well that this spin the wheel has literally just popped up. Um, to be honest, I tend to stay away from things like that because to me it's just going a bit too spammy, but um, you can see it's obviously working for these guys. Um, and what I want to show you now then is their actual product pages. So if we just go straight to their best selling, um, you can see that the best selling products are simply these socks and literally like, it took me 10 seconds to find these on AliExpress, the exact same socks, £1.45 a pair and these guys are selling them for $13. So this is the best selling product page then. Um, as you can see, like, first impressions is it looks really, really good. Um, and the product page, in my opinion, is probably the most important page on your store because that's where you're going to be directing people straight to. And as long as you send them to a really decent looking page, then most people won't even leave that page. They'll just add to cart and then go straight to the checkout process. Um, for everybody familiar with this Commerce Inspector tool, you would have seen these guys are using a turbo theme. So if you are looking for a potential theme to invest in, you can see clearly that these guys have done over $2 million in revenue using this theme. So it must be a pretty good one. Um, and just to kind of show you the whole product page as well, you can see that just the whole layout. So the fact they've got different fonts in bold, they've got like the check marks and then they've got like the regular font. It just looks really pleasing to the eye. And there's no, no there's nothing on this page that would put a potential customer off. So they're really underrated, but the product pages are actually a lot more important um, than you think. Next thing I want to show you then is their actual Facebook page as well, because this is a really important thing to look at because again, another underrated thing is that you'll find that when you run your ads, a lot of people will actually check out your Facebook page before they go to the product page, just to see who you are, how legit you are, what kind of content you're posting and whether you're just like a, 
um, a legitimate business basically. So when it comes to advertising on a social media platform, then obviously engagement is king. Now these are just the posts on their page, but just to kind of show you, depending on what kind of content you post can have a massive impact. So just now from top to bottom then, so this was posted 21 hours ago. So that's always a good thing as well to see pages that have posted recently because it shows they're really active. Um, and here they're obviously, they're not trying to sell anything to anybody. They're simply just trying to provide content and value to somebody, to their um, followers for free, which is a really good thing. Um, you can see the engagement isn't really that great considering I think they have like 46,000 likes. Um, again, they're trying to sell here, so the engagement is poor. Again, they're trying to sell here, the engagement is poor. They're trying to sell here, but they've got like a funny meme, which is a good thing. Um, so they may have got a few clicks um, to their health collection here, but again, the engagement is really poor. But if you just take a look at this post here, so hashtag contest, if you could have only one of these items, which would you choose? Tell us your answer below for a chance to win. And just look at the engagement. So 140 likes, 97 comments, and 11 shares. You can see straight away that people absolutely love contests. And the reason why this is so good as well is that if you want to introduce a new product to your store and like there's a handful of products that you're not quite sure which one to go for, which one to focus on, which one to start advertising or build an ad for, then just simply ask your followers. You could boost an ad, run an ad, um, a traffic ad, just to get as many eyes or a reach ad, um, just to get as many votes so you can see exactly what the market wants and let people vote for their favorite product. And you can see with 97 comments, then they've got a pretty decent and sufficient amount of feedback there. So with all that being said then guys, we've seen their best selling products, we've seen their store, we've seen their Facebook page. Um, I spent a bit longer than usual than I plan to going through the store, but purely because I want to put the message across that whether you're running a niche store or a general store, that isn't going to be the determining factor between whether you fail or whether you succeed. Ultimately, it will come down to the ad that you're running and the product and your store. So they're the three key ingredients to whether you're gonna be successful or not. You need a really good ad, you need a really good product, and you need a really good store. So that being said then, let's move swiftly on to number two, which is this store here. It's called loomrack.com. Um, and again, just some kind of like background information. They were launched not very long ago, March 2018. So barely been in business a year, and they've already done over a um, million dollars in revenue in the first year, which is again, pretty impressive. Total traffic is 1.6 million visits to 1 million revenue. And if we just scroll further down and have a look at their expenses, it's always worth checking this out. Um, to me, they're probably not listing all of the expenses, but they might have stopped trading, I don't know. So we can't really learn a lot from that anyway. Anyway, that being said, then let's move on. Let's have a look at their store. So loomrack.com. Um, again, it looks pretty decent. They've got like a nice kind of like banner image there. Um, you can tell as well, this is general store. These sorts of products are just screaming AliExpress out to me. Um, and these are all the different collections again. So again, a really another successful store and it's a general store. You don't have to run a niche store. So anyway, that's their homepage. I'm not really interested in that because not many people will come to this. What we're more interested in is the product page because that's gonna be like your first impression with your customer. So we we'll use Commerce Inspector, go straight to their best selling. And the reason I wanted to show you this then is because I thought it's quite funny is that some people have clocked on to that people can copy their best selling products. So you can see they've put this note here. Oh no, nothing to see here, copycat question mark, which I thought was pretty good. So we can't actually see what their best selling products are. But um, if we just head over to their shop and let's just take a random niche, for example, let's go to home niche. A lot of people I talk to are in the home niche. Um, and we can see like these are all the different kind of products that these guys are selling. And you can tell straight away if you've been on AliExpress for two minutes, then you've probably seen like most of these products yourself. So if I just take a random product, we'll go for this blend yet because I know that these guys, there's a brand that's built a massive brand and they've brought on Jen Selta just to help sell this product. Um, and just have a quick look then at the product page. So they've actually got a video um, supporting the product page, which is always a really good idea. The more content guys you can give people around a particular product, then it's always gonna be a good thing. Um, they've got a pretty cool like, GIF here or GIF, um, just showing how effective the product is. Um, they've got another one here and just plenty of information here. Now, if it was me, then this white space would be putting me off. But what that tells me then, I'm guessing that these guys are probably just focusing on the mobile customers. So I'm just gonna check out what it looks like um, from a mobile point of view. So hopefully you guys can see this. It looks a bit small probably on the screen. Um, but if we just scroll down, we can see that on a mobile, um, this theme looks really nice. And if we just scroll down quickly, we can see that yeah, there's no white space at all when you're looking at it on a mobile. So my initial thoughts then, or if I had to guess, um, these guys would be purely just focusing on 
um, mobile traffic. So just in case you've never seen those bottles before, um, here's the exact same one on AliExpress. You can see you can buy it for about £10 um, and these guys are selling it for nearly £30. Another thing worth checking as well, so we'll just have a look at their shipping policy. You can see they're quoting at two to three weeks um, and they also mentioned somewhere that their products come from all around the world as well. So these guys are clearly a drop shipping store. It's clearly a general store as well. So again, another good example in that as long as you sell a good product and you have good ads um, and a good decent looking product page, then you can make some pretty decent money as well. So the next thing we wanna check out then is if we go across to their Facebook page, um, because you can't look at their info and ads anymore, if we go across to their uh, videos, then if they've used a video as an ad, and kind of like use that for every single ad set, then there'll be certain videos that stick out in terms of views. And then that's gonna give us like an inkling into what they're using for their video ad essentially. So we can see they kind of average around about a thousand views. It's got 750, 1.2, 1.2. Um, this has got 2.3, so they probably use that at some point. But the one that sticks out the most then is this one here. So 31,000 views. So these guys have obviously paid to um, to advertise this post and this is probably the ad which brought in the majority of the revenue and if we just have a look at the ad you can see it is just crazy crazy basic um, 30,000 views and they probably just got these images off AliExpress as well so so I'm guessing this ad must have been effective to somewhat degree um, however like they've hidden their best selling products they probably just started creating it at the ad set level and the ad level to try and hide the best selling products they were selling but if I had to guess then um, then my experience would tell me that they probably made the bulk of their revenue from those leggings. And, if, and with that being said then guys, let's move on to the third and final store. Um, again, like I said earlier, I didn't choose these stores at random. Um, and the reason I wanna show you this one then is because it's an apparel store and they are drop shipping. A lot of people contact me saying they want to start a drop shipping store and they want to create an apparel store. So hopefully um, by showing you this one then you guys can learn quite a lot um, and it'll help you to go on to be successful yourselves. First thing I wanna show you is the fact that they want $800,000 for this store, which just seems crazy expensive to me. Um, however, let's check out the performance. So they've done nearly 3 million in revenue um, from nearly four and a half million visits. And if we look at their expenses, you can see that the majority of their traffic is coming from Facebook, which I'm assuming, um, I'm guessing that most people watching these videos are planning to use, if not already using Facebook ads. So these guys are essentially doing exactly what we'd be trying to do. So let's head over to their store then. Um, and the first thing I wanna show you then is their best selling products because I wanna to prove to you that these guys are drop shipping and that through creating a brand, even if you are drop shipping, then you can set yourself apart from everybody else. And one really good st strategy to do that then is just simply how you name your products. So, so it took me quite a while to try and find one of these products on AliExpress and it's because of what they've called them. They've named them unique names. So if anybody goes onto Google and searches for the Sandstorm denim jacket or the Savagery bomber, then this piece of clothing isn't going to come up and therefore it makes it unique to this brand, even though they don't own the actual design and the actual product, if that makes sense. And just to prove it then, we have the Sandstorm denim jacket. If we'll just head over to AliExpress, I found this previously. You can see it's the exact same product. It's even got like the sand kind of like scratch marks down the right hand side in which it does here too. And these guys are selling it for $90 and you can see you can clearly buy it for 30 pounds, which is probably about um, $40, so a pretty healthy um, profit margin as well. So if we just check out their product page as well, it's always important to check out the product pages because that's essentially what's gonna sell the product. Um, and you can see straight away, it's just a really nice, clean looking theme. Um, all the fonts are bold where they should be bold. All of them aren't bold where they shouldn't be. Um, they've got a pretty kind of like simplistic product description, um, but judging from their revenue and the fact that this is one of their best selling products, um, then it obviously works. So this is the product page then. Um, just to have a look at what the theme is well, it looks like Shoptimize to me. Oh no, it's the Turbo theme. Um, so that's kind of like three common grounds in which all three of these stores have had is that they're all using paid themes. Um, and the next thing I want to show you as well is that when it comes to branding, then in my opinion, Instagram is just king. And these guys make really good use of how to use Instagram. And just to kind of scroll down their news feed, you can see that they're constantly reposting people who are wearing their clothing. And if you want to build a brand on Instagram um, or just pretty much anywhere, then that is that's like the number one best thing you can do because when it comes to branding, if you think about just any brands that you buy into, 
part of the reason why you buy it is because everybody else is buying it and the reason lots of people buy into a particular brand is because the kind of message they put across and the more people that buy into a brand the more people see it as a legit brand and a brand worth being part of like Gymshark Gymshark is absolutely huge they grew really really quickly and they have like a clear kind of like mission statement what they're all about and because so many people follow it and it's about something positive then it doesn't t it doesn't take a lot for somebody else to come across the brand and also buy into it as well and one way to really do that is just to kind of advertise the fact that people are wearing their clothing so you can see um, they're always showcasing and modeling the clothing they're selling and where possible they're reposting probably influencers that are also wearing their clothing as well and just to kind of illustrate this if we choose one that has like pretty good engagement so 1700 likes 1200 uh, 2800 so if we take this random one and um, we'll see if there's somebody tagged it's in like a different language so ej inc open that into a new tab and we'll come across so we can see they're kind of like a quite a small influencer but there's clearly a person behind the brand an actual face an actual body an actual person and they've only got eleven thousand followers so the chances are they didn't actually pay that much for for the shout out for this person to wear their piece of clothing but you can see they've done it like tons of different times and it's just a really quick way to build up a pretty decent following, a pretty decent brand, um, get a ton of social proof behind it um, and then start using the data that comes across from Instagram and retargeting through Facebook, which we can see because they're bringing in like consistently over 100 grand a month in, that's traffic. So they're bringing in 50, 60, averaging probably about 75 grand um, in revenue and they're only spending like 10 grand a month on Facebook so to me then if I had to guess I would say they're using Instagram just to drive as much traffic as possible through Instagram influencers and then just retargeting that traffic through Facebook which is a really good um, strategy to use so anyway all that being said guys I think that pretty much wraps up the video I'm um, just to kind of go over then what we've learned um, all three stores uh, using paid themes so you can see there's a consistent kind of theme there if you like um, they're all using Facebook ads so Facebook ads aren't dead as expensive as they may seem to be getting um, you can still make a lot of money with Facebook ads a lot of these stores were selling products over that kind of like 20 to 30 dollar range as well so if you've been selling really cheap products struggling to make a profit then perhaps start looking at more expensive ones um, and just all in all that drop shipping isn't dead um, and it goes back to those three core elements I mentioned earlier in the video if you've got a good ad, a good product and a good store, then you're going to be successful. And with that being said then guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win a one-to-one -one consultation call with me, all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then guys on my previous video. Start from day one, my step-by-step -step strategy for beginners. So if you are a beginner then, um, I strongly advise you go check that video out. Anyway, with that being said then, I'm just going to take the URL top left. Um, head over to our random comment picker. So all these competitions are 100% random. Please don't ask me to pick you. And we have 79 unique commenters, which is absolutely awesome. We are fast approaching 6,000 subs, so thank you very much, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure you do. And the winner of the previous video then is Yiannis. So thank you very much for your comment. Please reach out on Instagram and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you want to stop trying your luck, because not everybody will win one of these, we are growing pretty quickly now, but you just want to get straight out to business and book a call, then you can actually do so. Make sure you check out the links in the video description down below. And with that finally being said then guys, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.